Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But you guys know we're going to be talking about everything Dogs Coin. You know, the amount of support that you guys have been showing on these updates is just absolutely crazy. You know, continue supporting, and you guys know I will continue to bring out these updates for you guys. So you know, we're going into Saturday morning. You are seeing majority of the market actually turning into the green. But um, in terms of getting excited, I have said this in on my other updates. If you do follow my channel, then you know, it's not a time to get excited as of now as far as the broader market is concerned. Uh, because, of course, Bitcoin is still at some very critical price levels. As far as dogs is concerned, it's up 1.5% right now um, over the past 24 hours with the price current sitting at 13.25 and it's also up 0.1% in Bitcoin comparative currently um, you know it's not in the top 100 rank so you know it's pretty much bouncing between the top 100 and you know makes its way back below the top 100 so obviously that is going to occur but um, you know obviously everyone wants to see it in the top 100 and I think that will happen um, as far as you know Bitcoin does not see volatility but Let's take a closer look and see what is happening, what has changed and what we could be expecting before I do that. As always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So market cap is at $681.6 million and the 24 hour trading volume is at about 600 million. So, you know, compared to yesterday, you know, the trading volume has kind of decreased. But uh, in a grand scheme of things, as far as price is concerned, you know, price is holding, um, you know, really, really good. And that's something that we discussed in our previous update. But let's take a look at what is happening with the price as of now. So, uh, of course, you know, we're going to take a look at what's happening with the broader meme coin markets, so, you know, kind of understand uh, where dogs really is and whether or not we're seeing, you know, a shift in momentum specifically for dogs. So, you know, in terms of the entire market cap, it's at 41.2 billion for all the meme coins combined. If you're looking at the last 24 hours, some coins are actually feeling the love right now. The dogs is also one of the coins that's actually up about 1.6% right now over the course of the last 24 hours. Um, you know, in terms of uh, getting back uh, into the, you know, top coins, it is already in the top 10 coins. So, you know, of course, Dogecoin's one and of course Shiba Inu is two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's the top eighth project in terms of meme coins that is ranked in the obviously meme coin category. Category. And, you know, one thing that a lot of people tend to forget is that, you know, this is a project that has just come out and it's actually already at these market valuations. And again, speaks for itself, right? The BOM is at the top 10 spot, uh, but, you know, it's in there and it's for a brand new, um, you know, blockchain. It's for TON, uh, the open network, uh, while, you know, Bonk. So you're starting to see a little bit of a pattern playing out, actually. That's what I want to kind of highlight first, and then I will obviously pull out the chart. So if you're looking at it, of course, uh, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, you know, Shiba Inu's ETH, Pepe's ETH, Dog with Hat is Solana, uh, Floki is ETH, you know, Bonk is Solana, Brett is, um, you know, what's that chain? The Coinbase chain, I can't, Base. You know, Brett is on Base. Uh, you know, now Dogs is on, um, you know, Ton, Popcat, Solana. So you're starting to see a lot of different chains, you know, meme coins actually, uh, you know, gaining some uh, high traction. And speaking about high traction, we know what has happened with Dogs, you know, gaining uh, such massive listings literally at the day it was launched. And, you know, that is huge. Not a lot of people think about that. You know, that is quite massive indeed. But let's take a closer look and see what is happening with the dog's price right now. And, of course, what is yet to come. Uh, looking at the Bitcoin dominance, you know, starting off with the Bitcoin dominance index, you know, it's pretty much on the verge of breaking out tomorrow, which, of course, now it's already midnight here in North America, depending where you are around the world. You know, um, today is the end of the month. Can you believe it? Let's actually... Let's actually think about it, guys. We are already at the end of August. It feels like yesterday, you know, that this month has started. And just like that, you know, we're already at the end. You know, time is going by so fast. And it's really, really important to see how Bitcoin reacts, um, you know, towards the monthly close, which is, of course, going to happen today. Of course, it's midnight. We're going into Saturday morning, but it's going to be very interesting to see how Bitcoin reacts. And remember, you know, today's Saturday and, you know, on the weekends, we do tend to see more manipulation than usual because CME futures are closed. So those are some factors we need to keep in mind. But nonetheless, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how BTC reacts. Speaking about Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin is pretty much still ranging uh, as to where it was yesterday. You know, we've seen several rejections at the key resistance 
itself, which is a psychological resistance at 60K. Pretty much four different, um, you know, retests, which of course were all rejections. So again, you know, we're starting to uh, understand that, you know, it's having a little bit of a hard time maintaining its price back above that psychological key resistance. Hence, you could uh, see the significance of this resistance that, you know, we've been speaking about and seeing how important it is for the price of Bitcoin to stay above here. The reason as to why I mentioned this is because, uh, you know, if Bitcoin is not able to hold in the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level, this can impact everything, including dogs. But with that said, speaking about dogs in the immediate short term, it's looking, you know, quite well and i will share as to why i say that so again you guys know unbiased opinion on this update i don't um, you know say unrealistic things uh, that's just the reality and of course that is what people appreciate so if you appreciate this guys hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of these updates so again on the daily time frame it's not even worth checking the charts let's do uh take a look at it on the hourly time frame so of course it starts lagging let's give it a refresh live Let's go on dogs and on Binance, I think. There we go. And let me switch it to the hourly time frame. So look at this, guys. Um, yesterday, what happened was, of course, you know, as the price corrected due to Bitcoin as well, you know, Bitcoin retesting uh, the 23.6 support line. Obviously, you know, dogs is going to react. And again, this is a meme coin. I don't care how much utility it has. This at the end of the day is a meme coin and should be treated like a meme coin. Um, and pretty much you could see, you know, we did see that significant pullback. Um, you saw the price actually going down to that 1216 zone. But, you know, we do have quite a bit of support around that range. If you manage to get some around that level, uh, you did see uh, you know dogs go up about 14 percent since then so now as the price you can see is trying to break towards the upside of course you know we need to keep the bitcoin factor in mind but as the price you can see wants to break towards the upside and starts you know heading back towards all-time high to the billion dollar market valuation you're noticing a little bit of a, a hard time for dogs to do that because of course there is significant amount of resistance around this range especially around the 1384 zone which of course we retested again you know it's too early to do like you know extensive uh, technical analysis on it but so far you know these wicks are playing as a level of resistance you can see we literally went up to the 1386 zone saw a reject but you know the previous um, you know wicks as this project opened up and started trading sideways around this uh, price is actually playing as a level of support you can see we're actually supported by that range so really really important to you know uh, stay above this support if it's able to do that you know would not be surprised if we actually start retesting the 3086 zone and start heading towards uh, you know this high which was at the 1440 zone so I could actually see that happening as long as the price is able to hold above this key support line and again if you want to put this into perspective this move itself uh, you, you could see an additional 11.36 percent move quite fast if this does tend to happen but with that said if bitcoin decides to say you know what this is it you know whales come out and shake out the weak hands and you know we see the price of bitcoin falling below the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level of course you know you are going to see dogs reacting to that uh, but you know a lot of people are optimistic I i'm sticking to my personal projection i don't think you know it's going to do those crazy uh price numbers that some people are talking about you know some people are actually thinking that this thing can go to a dollar um you know i hate to say it but guys you know, the circulation supply on this thing is quite large uh for it to get to a dollar so you know let's think about it on a realistic standpoint but but uh, I do believe that, you know, it could battle it out with some of these other coins that are in the top tape, you know, such as Bonk, such as Floki, uh, such as even Dog with Hat. You know, I think this has the chance in the short term to, you know, get to these evaluations. The reason as to why I say this is because the time it has launched and, of course, you know, the hype factor, you know, decentralized exchange listings right off the bat, it hasn't really had its run right now. And the way it's holding after, um, you know, freshly being launched is, you know, quite well because of course the allocations were not as large as you guys might think but speaking about allocations some people did um you know get quite a bit of uh entries uh so you know you got to look at it from that point of view as well but so far still good i'm liking the setup that you're seeing but significant amount of support around here as of now uh considering it's just launched for about four days uh you need to see the price holding above here and then of course we can start heading towards uh, you know some of these levels that i have just discussed but let me know down below what you guys think love each and every one of you guys um always do your own due diligence and research when investing into crypto to always understand the risk factor that comes with meme coins i cannot stress this enough love each and every one of you guys i'll see you tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out